Hey guys. Okay, we're going to show you a bit more of an advanced example. Um, something where you can apply Multigo to basically not everything that you've seen before, not just infrastructure and people, but something completely different. Um, in this case, we're going to be looking at IMDB, the, the movie database. You know, some of the things we like to, to look at the office uh, personal choices. Um, so basically, again, I've, I've set up a machine. Um, it's in the States this time. Uh, we're currently located in South Africa, and I've created uh, a whole bunch of Python scripts. We're using the uh, Python library now. You can see it here. You can see there all my all my scripts that I've created. Phrase to actor, phrase to director, phrase to movie. So it's going to basically query IMDB and determine uh, each of these. Um, then within our client, we've created uh, a whole bunch of entities for this. Uh, we've done this through the entity wizard. It's really easy to create them. Um, basically, we're going to import them now. So I'm just going to click on uh, import entities. I'm going to go to the C drive. And I'm just going to import this. And you'll see here it says, okay, here are all my entities. Uh, you see we've got an actor, di company, director, movie, and writer. I'm going to add it to a category called IMDB. Click finish. And here you'll see in my palette, I now have IMDB entities. Um, okay, then uh, within TDS, we're going to log in with our user. And in this case, it's our IMDB user. Okay. Now once we've logged in, um, you can see I've created 10 transforms, one seed. So here's our transforms. You can see that I've got these all, uh, they're all running against uh, these Python scripts that I've used with the, the Python library. It's fully documented, again, really easy to use. You can find it on our website and uh, it's very straightforward. I think uh, it, it's very easy to develop transforms with it. Okay, and then each of these are located in the seeds, or in one seed. Um, this is ours here. You can see that I've uh, changed the, the URI. This time it's called We Love Movies rather than the default one that we had before. So now at any time, if I wanted to share these transfers with someone, I'd just give them this URL, and they'd be able to put it into their client and, uh, and use these. Obviously, they would need uh, to have the entities that we created before. So the same way that I just imported them, they'd also have to import them. Basically, I'd give them a graph, and they'd import from that. Okay, so we're going to go through the discovery wizard again. This one we're going to call IMDB. We're going to add that URL in. Say add. Uh, and then just next, next, finish. See so here it's discovering our transforms. Each of these have uh, their own descriptions and disclaimers and so on. Say so finish. Okay, and then we're going to start using it. Um, these are pretty cool. So one of my, my favorite directors is uh, Wes Anderson. So I'm going to... I'm going to try find him first. I've got a phrase and I have the transform available phrase to director. Now there's now going to query the server in the states and return me this information. So I accept this. Obviously there's the disclaimer again. And here it is. Here you can see all the here's the one that I want. You can see there's Wes Anderson and now I'm going to say directed to movies. So now I'm going to try to identify all the movies that Wes Anderson has has directed. I'm just going to zoom out a bit. Obviously I, d I don't have a mouse here, so it's a uh, it's a bit more difficult. But here you can see all the all the movies that he's directed. Uh, these are some of my favorites. Rushmore, Bottle Rocket, The Life Aquatic. Um, then from these movies, I'm going to try to establish which actors have been in these movies. So for example, I'm going to take the Darjeeling Limited. I'm going to say, okay, movie to actors. Uh, obviously, I can run the others as well. I can find out other directors, writers, and uh, go on from there. But here, I'm just going to look at the actors for this movie. I'm just going to say zoom to fit again. Um, I'm going to just navigate it through this detail view at the moment. This is one of the new features that we have. And here, you can see here all the, all the people who are, who are in this movie. So, Owen Wilson and uh, Bill Murray. Uh, some of the favorites that he's picked that I'm going to show you now. Okay, so then I'm going to run this against all the other movies that he's directed as well, so that I can get from these movies all the actors that have been in them. And here it's going to run, and they're going to start returning. And there they come in. I'm just going to zoom to fit again. So here you can see 
all these purples are uh, all the movies that he's directed as soon as I can get this mouse to work there we go these are all the movies and if I use control down arrow I can now select all the all the different people that have been in these movies um, now what's interesting is you'll notice that there are the various people who have been in many of the movies so Jason has been in Darjeeling Limited, Hotel Chevalier, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Rushmore and so on um, and it might not be that easy to establish which of these um, which of these actors have been in these movies the most or maybe which actors that he has preferenced in his movie so what we're going to do is we're going to switch to edge weighted view uh, which is something that's going to tell us which of the entities have got the most links coming to them so now we're going to switch to edge weighted view you're going to see here it's going to expand out um, the size of the of the actual balls are going to determine uh, which are more heavily weighted I'm just going to zoom out a bit here so you can see them gradually growing away there's all the actors obviously all the purple ones are are the movies and there's uh, the director that we've been looking at so over here we can see that um, in terms of movies that Wes Anderson has directed Owen Wilson he's been in a whole bunch of these you can see he's been in practically all of them um, uh, here you can see Bill Murray as well also been in, in loads of them and of course I can also navigate the graph through these so I can go back to the movie I can see Rushmore uh, which is now highlighted and I can now see which of the actors are in the movie so I'm gonna go back to Bill Murray here and then I can see which of his movies are in all of these entities also have their own icons and things um, so yeah, it's just a, like a, a really nice example to show you how you can use Multigo with practically any information. It doesn't have to be a domain or a website, you know, something that we have preset. You can use it with anything that you that you really want to, and you can get uh, intelligence from these just by looking at the way that things are laid out and uh, their relationships between them. So yeah.